we're all Christophers. But what I want to make sure of is that everyone understands why Christopher. Why is it important to be Christopher? Okay? And why that is an important part of who we are and who we're trying to be amongst each other, trying to be. So, what we're going to start from the beginning. First off, we are always working at bringing to this world a little bit brighter, a little bit better, because we're in the world. Present where we are with what we have. Okay? And how do we do that? We're going to be light bearers and truth bearers. Is that important? Yes. To bring light to the world that we touch and to bring the truth to everything we have the opportunity of bringing. Light and truth. Okay? As a result, we're trying to become a brighter world through a better you, through a better us. Okay? All right. As everyone may or may not know, we have the Institute of Christopher Leaders is made up of Christopher Leaders and Leader Roscoe Christopheros. Right. So there's two parts of the Institute, the English and Spanish. And we do many things, but predominantly we're all under the umbrella of the Institute of Leader Roscoe Christophero or Christopher Leaders. Okay? Now, in order to, let, let's go to the next slide, let's, next slide. Okay, who, where, oh, okay, all right. The Institute is a uh, not-for-profit organization. We've been around, actually the Institute has been around forever, but it's been organized as the Institute of Christopher Leaders for the last eight years. But prior to that time, Hilda, yeah, several of us that are around the room, we're all about this, we're this sometimes, for some of us, if we collect all the time that we've collected together in this room, we'd be in the hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years that we've dedicated ourselves, right? All right, so we're a not-for-profit organization that provides personal, spiritual leadership development to individuals who seek improving their lives and make a difference in the world that they're touching. Fair enough, right? Yeah. Am I going too fast or am I okay, right? Okay. Right. Okay. Now let's talk to the next screen. That's it. The term Christopher is just what we're talking about. We say it's Christ-bearer. But to be a Christ-bearer, as you can very well be, when that, what we're talking about is in the flame of being the flame that we create the fire and the flame that begins the spark, that begins the things to happen in the world that we touch. That's what we believe in. Lots of places to be, lots of places to touch this world, and places to touch it in a very good, positive way. But in other words, when we are Christ bearers, each of us are called to develop this God-given talent. And that God-given talent that we've been gifted with, that we take it and use it, our resources to make the world a better place. And in order to do that, there's three things that require us to, to work together. Okay, good evening, everyone. Hi, I see all my friends here, too, so hi, really. How are you? Okay, there are three things that we're talking about are, what is a Christopher? What makes up a Christopher? Everyone, first off, we realize we all have a God-given mission. Every one of us, every one of us in this room has a God-given mission. And it's you have a job to do in this world and only that you can do. It only belongs to you to do that job that is assigned to you. And a healthy sense of self allows us to relate to the knowing your mission in life. So when we really understand ourselves a little bit better, we are then able to find that God-given mission a little bit brighter and a little bit better, quicker. Okay? All right. Then we also believe positive. Constructive action is what works miracles in the worlds that we touch. It doesn't mean that we have to be huge and doing big, big, big things. We have to take every step of the way and make sure that we're using positive, constructive action to make a difference in the world that we're touching. Okay? We all agree to this so far? Yes. yes. We're going to, well, that's because uh, we're all part of what we call the top line with Christopher's. Okay. And believing this part is real important. I struggle a lot of time in my own life to understand this part. Because I really thought I was very insignificant. I still do in the grand scheme of things. But when I think about it in God's world, you know what? Every one of us makes a difference. And your efforts might seem insignificant to you. But they can be all that is needed to overcome the evil. 
And now, do we talk about is there any evil in our world? There's a little bit, because you know what? Take courage and follow your heart. As a matter of fact, who, the word courage actually means with heart. Doing whatever we're doing with heart is the word courage is out. That's what makes up the word courage, okay? But I want to explain something. Look around this room. You're going to meet a few people just in moments, but I want to make sure that you look around the room. And what you're going to recognize, go beyond the individual. I assure you of one thing. There's many, many, all of you are good people. And you know what you're doing here on a Tuesday night? Good trying to be better. Better trying to be best. Okay? We have an exercise in the workshop that actually goes like that. Never let it rest until the good is better, the better is best. Try it together. Never let it rest until the good is better, the better is best. Never let it rest. Until the good is better, the better is best. Never let it rest. Till the good is better, the better is best. Never let it rest. Till the good is better, the better is best. Never let it rest. Till the good is better, the better is best. We got it? Yeah. Okay.